You can change lives by sharing your expertise on YouTube, and we've got five steps to help you get your educational channel started. Step one, define your audience. First off, it can be helpful to figure out who you wanna reach. Are you making videos for viewers who are fresh to the subject, or should they have some experience with the topic? The large demographic of my subscribers are definitely nursing students and aspiring nurses, and they really dictate the kind of content that I produce. Step two, brainstorm topics. Next, you'll wanna think about what topics you wanna to cover on your channel. What are you passionate about? For example, on our channel, we focus on the humanities because that's what we love and what our audience wants to see. So what do you wanna share? Some educational channels base their content off a curriculum, but you don't necessarily have to. There are plenty of creators just making videos that satisfy their audience's curiosity or teach life skills. How to draw hair. Take some time to really think about what and why you wanna make learning videos. It's okay to think niche too. Audiences are curious and search for content literally everywhere. So if you have a unique idea, try it out. Discover what you know and don't know. Consider what topics you're an expert in and where there could be more to learn. Remember, you don't have to be a pro at everything. It can be a ton of fun to learn along with your own audience. When my fans make requests for me to use a tool or material I'm not familiar with, it inspires me to learn, and then they learn, and then we all learn. Step four, plan out your video. The way you present your content is just as important as what you're communicating. Will your content be structured, semi-structured, unstructured, formal or informal? A lot of creators keep their tone light and show examples their audience can relate to. Step five, practice your YouTube presentation style. YouTube is a unique platform because there are endless formats and styles to try out. Yes, good enough. And the next video dives into the different ways. Uh, everything has led up to this moment and now it's just time to get it done. Experiment to find one that resonates with you and your audience. I am your host, Garrix Wormuloid. So what if you already have a channel and you're inspired to try out making educational videos? When you have an established audience, it's all about balancing new ideas with audience favorites. Generally, the further away new content is from your usual content, the harder it will be for your audience to embrace it. You can help your new content thrive by keeping a few elements from your older content that your audience already expects. Let us know in the comments below what kind of educational channel you're thinking about starting on YouTube. Click here to watch the next video and don't forget to subscribe.